folks it is time super saiyan 3 goku and majin buu's unit details are finally here on dokkan jp and global have both posted the details both at the same time mind you i don't, don't want to see the animations we're going to start by checking out the animations then we're going to see what the units can do and we also have info on the banner units so without further ado let me pause the music let's start with the unit animations here we go i'm so excited i cannot wait to hear the dub super saiyan 3 roar all right here we go what's this one this is boo okay do you like chocolate can i hear that <laughs> okay all right good start what the hell kind of music is this Oh, it should have been the Deborah cookie face. <laughs> this music is so stupid. I love it. What a mood switch to go from that to this. This is a revive, obviously. I don't know why this the symbiote i was about to say symbiote it looks like the carnage symbiote like the early stages of it doesn't look like boo it looks bloodier there it is there's that shot kamehameha <laughs> nice okay that's it for boo okay all right uh animation wise nothing too stellar like you know amazing but i absolutely love the stupid music like the... bro <laughs> imagine a dude walking up to you like that with this music and then you're dead all right let's move on this is what we have been waiting for super saiyan 3 son goku What? That happened so fast. Hold on. Oh, they're doing it. Oh, you don't get to hear the prolonged scream. This is still good. Sorry it took me so long. I'm still not used to this form just yet. I'll say because you're so used to seeing the whole sequence, it's a little odd seeing it accelerated, but it's an intro animation. They can't let it linger, right? It's got to got to be quick to the point oh that looks good though i think the goku looked better than the boo okay all right counter very good i don't have much time left to give but now or never Oh, that's a nice shot. Okay, okay. All right. All right. So yeah, but both of the animations were 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 pretty good. I think the Goku, like the lighting, looks a lot better. Obviously, like the the character is cooler looking. There, there's a lot more working for the for the Super Saiyan 3 Goku. But I'm not like overly, you know, insanely. Imp Actually, that's not true. This part was pretty neat. This part is pretty dope. I would say overall, this looks way better than the Buu, though. Now or never. Yeah. I want to see that intro again. I need to see the intro again. <laughs> it is weird having to cut all that up. But I love this. Like, they actually show the little... The, the, the chibi Goku, like, circling around. I'm sorry it took me so long. I'm still not used to this form. Just I'm curious how they would have possibly accelerated the whole... This is a Super Saiyan. This is a Saiyan that has ascended past a Super Saiyan. Or a Super Saiyan 2. And this is to go even further beyond all right let's move on to the next one we got the banner units baby let's check it out oh yeah the banner units i forgot to tell you banner units are go tanks and evil boo so i was completely wrong in my predictions i think that was a misstep we already got a go tanks easy a and evil boo i mean that one that one's actually better but come on man yak on like are we not are we just 
give that guy some some shine all right so here we go go tanks huh man what the anyway let's try that again shall we Ace go tanks Victory Cannon is Trunks' attack, right? Pretty sure. Counter? Oh, oh, this is... Oh, he's got a counter. Okay, Evil Boo's got a counter. That's cool. A key-based counter, I'm guessing. Hubby, hubby. All right, so those are the banner units. Okay, so there you go. That that is the that is the animation suite. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about these animations on a scale of one to ten. Rate each one. Now let's take a look at what these units do. We don't have to wait for no stinking translations. One of the many benefits of full synchro. We're not there yet, but this is obviously closer. We'll start with the Majin Buu. Good. So we got ooh, we got three categories. Okay. So leader skill: Majin Buu Saga, Sworn Enemies, Storied Figures. Yikes. P plus three, 170%, plus an additional stats, plus 32 worldwide chaos and resurrected warriors. Guys, I was a little off of my categories. I put, I, I didn't have enough here. I'm a little disappointed. Okay. So for the super attack, this, this is the new normal. Like this really should be the new normal when it comes to categories. Like we should have at least three, either on the top here or on the bottom. All right. So in terms of the super attack, where is the Shopa? Raises defense permanently, greatly raises attack for one turn. Cause immense damage to the enemy. Okay. Passive activates entrance animation once only, recovers 10% at the start of the character's attacking turn. For the rest of the battle, recovers an additional 10% HP for five turns in the character's entry turn. When there is another Majin Buu Saga category ally on the team upon the character's entry, E plus two and attack and defense plus 150, plus an additional attack and defense plus 150. When performing a super attack, Launches an additional attack that has a great chance of becoming a super attack. Okay. Ooh, nice. Guards all attack when HP is 50% or more at the start of the turn. That works well with Majin characters. Regen. Recovers 10% at the end of the turn. And if HP is 30% or less at the end of the turn, recover an additional 10%. Okay. Revives with HP fully recovered when the character is KO'd once only. Survives KO attacks up to once within a turn. Nice. That's awesome. Plus an additional attack and defense plus 10%, 100%. Guards all attacks and launches an additional super attack starting from the turn in which the character in, in which the character or a character's ally revival skill is activated. Ah, recovers HP with sweet treats. I was wondering. I saw a comment in one of my videos and it mentioned that what if the candies were brought back? and this looks like it is all right so recovers hp with with sweet treats i don't think this is going to ultimately dictate like a, well actually you know what i have a feeling some of the red zone stages are going to incorporate candy landmines on the field so uh yeah healing with that is going to be useful for this guy okay or the active skill what's the active skill can be activated for the characters after the character's revival is activated or starting from turn seven massively raise attack temporarily cause ultimate damage to the enemy delay a single target enemy's attack for one turn changes all key spheres to cookies and for one turn key plus 12. okay so the cookies will heal you and the key will cover you that's that's essentially the point now this guy has guard but you don't have any damage reduction but that's that's essentially what the regen portion of the majin characters are for you guard, you have some semblance of defense, and then the regen kind of does the rest of the work. His super attack does raise defense, though, permanently. So that plus the guard will be far more effective. And of course, you have more stats along the way. Links, Majin, Innocence, Kamehameha, Infinite Regeneration, Revival, Wall Sending Tall, and Fierce Battle. So let me know in the comments what you think about this unit on a scale of 1 to 10. Very interesting build. I think the, fa the simple fact that there is no damage reduction is going to rub some people the wrong way. But 
this guy this guy looks promising so let me know what you guys think about that in the comments down below let's move on to the super saiyan 3. oh wait by the way this guy is a he's an i got them swapped i got them reversed okay well this guy's int and the goku is agl okay super saiyan 3 goku angel agl so this guy majin Buu saga other world warriors and accelerated battle category 170 percent extra stats plus 32 kamehameha or time limit yeah that makes sense time limit's a good one okay for the super attack let's check it out super attack greatly raises attack and defense for one turn causes immense damage with a high chance to stun okay for the passive activates entrance animation once only chance to crit plus 50 percent for five turns from the character's entry turn and reduces damage received by 90 percent upon the character's entry turn with each turn passed ah there it is damage reduction rate minus 15 percent so it's gonna drop back down no more than 90 so you will lose the damage reduction over time ah okay and that will take you six turns when there is another majin Buu saga category ally on the team upon the character's entry that is fantastic and quite frankly speaks to the moment right goku doesn't have a whole lot of time left so yeah, that's that's really cool okay let's see uh key plus two attack and defense plus 150 plus an additional attack and defense plus 150 percent when performing a super attack reduces damage received by five percent with each super attack performed up to 30 percent medium chance to crit launches an additional attack that has a great chance of becoming a super attack when there is another majin Buu saga category ally attacking in the same turn plus an additional defense plus 100 and guards as the first attacker in a turn and an additional attack plus 10 100 and launches an additional super attack as a second or third attacker in a turn high chance to nullify key based super attacks key blast super attacks directed at the character and counters with tremendous power that is really nice you've got additionals you've got crit you've got guard you've got damage reduction this unit is going to be far more well received than the boo i think i can safely say as far as like gut reactions people are going to like this one a lot more okay so for six turns you've got just regular damage reduction but then you will accumulate more the more supers you perform up to a permanent 30 percent so as you're losing your base one you'll get more so this is not bad and since this is an agl you're not going to have that base five crit interfering with your hidden potential you can focus more on the additionals or the dodges if you're going to run this unit in the slot one with that guard then dodge will probably be the better option if you're more likely to run this unit in the slot two or slot three additional would probably be the better one but the options the the variety that dude this unit's looking i think people are gonna like it and uh, for the active seal can be activated when there is a majin Buu saga category ally attacking in the same turn starting from turn four from the start of battle massively raise attack temporarily cause ultimate damage and within the turn activated all attacks become crits golden warrior super saiyan saiyan lineage over in a flash limit breaking form coming on and fierce battle usual categories so there you go let me know what you guys think about the super saiyan 3 goku on a scale of 1 to 10 as far as what this unit can do and all that now let's take a look at the banner units so we've got a physical base go tanks okay so this is going to be a hybrid saiyan's 130 percent lead massively hold on super attack massively raises attack and defense for one turn causes supreme damage to the enemy okay damn passive attack and defense plus 157 great chance of key plus seven plus an additional attack and defense plus one uh, plus 77 percent when performing a super attack launches an additional attack that has a great chance of becoming a super attack great chance of dodging for seven turns from the character's entry turn and high chance of evading from eighth turn onwards plus an additional attack and defense plus 77 percent as the second or third attacker in a turn was there a first attacker no okay so this is this is more of a slot two slot three plus an additional attack and defense plus 20 percent up to 77 with each attack evaded including super attack chance to perform a critical hit plus 20 percent up to 77 with each super attack performed another great unit in terms of hidden potential you don't have to worry so much critical is taken care of you either rely on the 70 percent or you go for more dodge i would personally go for more dodge and then go for balance additional this is pretty pretty cool not what i was expecting from a go tanks but let me know what you guys think rated on a scale of one to ten links 
Same warrior race, same lineage, innocence, shocking speed, fuse fighter, over in a flash, and fierce Aturul. And categories, the usual stuff. There's no new category. I was actually kind of expecting, I don't know why, I was expecting a new category for this, but hey, special pose. That's another unit in the special pose category. Global players, we don't have special pose yet, you know, as crazy as JP, but we will. These units will, will retroactively become far more valuable. And last but not least, Tech Slim Jim Boo. So this guy's a Majin Power, 130% lead for the super attack. Massively raise attack for four turns, cause supreme damage to the enemy. He plus one attack and defense, plus 40% and chance to crit and chance to dodge, plus 10% per Majin Power category ally on the team. Awesome. And if all allies are in the Majin Power category, launch an additional super attack and all attacks become crits. That is so neat. Yes. Okay. Plus an additional attack and defense plus 60% when performing a super attack. Plus an additional attack plus 60% if HP is 60% or more when attacking. Recovers 5% at the start of the turn. Recovers an additional 5% when HP is 80% or less at the start of the turn. And recovers an additional 10% HP when HP is 40% or less at the start of the turn. Survives KO attacks up to once within a turn. These... These are really nice because when you just think about it this way, let's say you've got a full rotation of Majin Power characters. Your first unit is the Fat Boo, right? He will survive a KO attack. Now you've got one health left, right? And then after your first unit is taken care of, your second slot is the unit that can heal on super attack, right? So you launch that super attack, you raise your health. Then in slot three, this dude is hand handling things. And then there's only one attack happening at the end without guard and without damage reduction you would still be fine that's great i lost my place where am i high chance of nullifying keyblade super attack uh keyblade super attacks directed at the character when encounters with tremendous power recovers hp with sweet treats was that always the name of it do they always call it sweet treats majin brutal beatdown kamehameha infinite regen nightmare while standing tall and fierce battle so you have healing in the passive you have healing in the link set and uh yeah regen is is slowly and but surely getting more powerful we don't have that category yet but the regen meta is slowly becoming more and more relevant so there you go let me know in the comments what you think about this unit on a scale of one to ten but that's not all we got a lot more to go over in terms of news let me just quickly check jp dokon they dropped the you know what let's go ahead and take a look at these animations on the jp side Let's just check it out, because it's Golden League, right? Here we go. Let's start with the Golden League. Oh, I didn't realize the music is very, like, RPG boss music-like. Skip that, we'll just watch it. Hold on, guitar? Guitar going crazy right now? That guitar riff at the beginning of that active skill was pretty dope. All right, let's take a look at the boo. <laughs> this music is my favorite. This might be, unironically, my new favorite song. <laughs> I can't get over how stupid. By the way, dub boo better than the JP one. I'm just throwing that out there. I think both are good, but I think the dub one is better in this case. All right, so we get blasted. Here's the regen. Woo! 
I'm mainly listening to the music for this one just because we've seen all the animations before. Okay. Well, there you go. Uh, there's no additional news on the JP side. Now let's quickly check out the global news bulletin because we got some news in here. We got the new Dokkan event teasers, right? So this is the Super Saiyan 3 Goku 1. Challenge the Super Warrior transformation. This is... This is the warrior returned from other worlds. So they're adding a new stage to this one. Okay. This is why I came to stall you with my fist. Yikes. Okay. And then we've got this one, the Majin Buu one. Majin Buu's coming out. I don't think I've ever tried to do Bobbity's voice. I should really practice. So this is a, is this a brand new? Yeah, this is a new Dokkan event altogether. Brand new. Okay. Not only that, do we have other things? We got this. I'm so happy about this. This is like the one thing that when we first got wind that this is going to be Majin Buu Saga, this is what I was praying for. I am so happy that this is happening. Guys, this is the this is the starting Goku that you would start off with in the epic showdown. This unit starts from humble beginnings as an R unit, and you work your way up all the way to a TUR. You become an SSR two different times, then a TUR. And then this guy. This, I cannot wait to see what this unit can do. And I hope it's good. I hope this unit is unreasonably good because it deserves it. This is going to be the new stage added to the ever expanding Majin Buu Saga free to play easy area. I'm telling you, Majin Buu Saga has the healthiest library of free to play units, both with and without easy A's. I am so happy about this. We've got the red zone coming up. Red zone. And so they've, they've changed the graphic here. Did they show this in the producer's letter or somewhere else? I don't I don't know why I, I'm like completely forgetting. Whatever. Okay, so this is the new Red Zone Majin Buu Saga. Formidable foes who once stood before Goku and his friends in the Majin Buu Saga will come at, come at you one after the other. Will you be able to defeat them? Clear the Red Zone, get Dragon Stones and tickets. And that's about it. But think about this, right? When you map out Majin Buu Saga and all of the ops that you got to deal with, right? Fat Buu, everything leading up to Fat Buu, Deborah, uh, Pui Pui, Yakon, all those clowns, uh, Slim Jim Buu, Super Buu, all the versions of Super Buu that he absorbed. Who is the final form that you have to fight? It's Kid Buu. I didn't really mention this much in the other video, but I'm sure a lot of you guys were thinking this. I think Kid Buu is like 90% going to be the part two LR because that has to be, that has to be where we, where, where we go with this, right? If not the final stage, you gotta have Kid Buu as some sort of boss in this series of red zone stages, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and get my hopes up considerably. You don't have to, I'll do it. I'm saying it, y'all are thinking it. I think Kid Buu's coming up for part two, man. This, I feel like this seals it, but. Let me know what you guys think. I I'm, I'm done rambling. This is an over 20 minute video. I'm so excited. Oh man, I got to get out of here. I got to calm down. I got to go back to sleep. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like down below. Let me know in the comments your thoughts on the animations, the units overall, what they do. Are you going to be summoning? Are you not going to be summoning? What are your thoughts on the other announcements that are made? Let me know all that and more in the comments down below. Also, be sure to subscribe for more Dokkan content of the future and click the notification bell so that you'll let you know you're going to see where I'm going to do it. Thanks again. Stay tuned and always remember to Dokkan responsibly.